there, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. This is just a quick update of some of the things that I've been working on. I can hardly believe that this is the beginning of June, but here we are and I have a lot of things coming up this summer. I'm going to be pretty busy. But recently, um, I had the opportunity to teach a hand embroidery workshop at a local quilt shop and that was really fun. And then I also got to participate in Weft Fest, which was a local fiber arts festival. And this was really fun. There was a lot of different um, fiber arts. There was felting, um, weaving, embroidery, quilting, um, garment making, a lot of different things. So that was really fun and interesting to talk to fiber artists who work in different forms. Uh, one of the things I got when I was there in the vendor hall was this little pin and it's actually a color wheel so it spins around so this was uh, really fun i also got one for my daughter who's a painter um, so that was my purchase from the event uh, i am i'm getting my bags packed getting ready to go to quilt canada which is coming up at the end of this month this year quilt canada is in edmonton and so that's a place that I've never been to. And then I'm really excited because the Canadian Quilter Association just announced that Quilt Canada in 2025 is gonna be in Toronto. And so that is close to home for me. So that is always good news if it's local and I can just drive there. So I have a couple of finishes to share. So this finish is a quilt that I've made. And this quilt, I have mixed feelings about this quilt. So this is my pattern, no flies in my garden, but I did a scrappy version of this. And I'm not thrilled with how it turned out, to be honest, you can't really see the pattern. I should have done scrappy with a couple of different colors or had one section in dark green, the other section in light green. To me, it feels like it's just blue fabric and just kind of splat green fabric on top of it. However, I did do this quilt with spiral quilting and that is really fun. So I made a whole video about how I did the spiral quilting so you can check that out. And the other thing that's really fun is the back of the quilt because I used a layer cake that I had. So the back looks kind of scrappy. Um, so that is really fun as well. So I was a little bit disappointed, but I'm not too disappointed. It still is really nice. This is a small version, so it's a nice um, lap size or maybe a wall hanging. And so I was glad to get that completed. Another thing I get completed is um, if you've seen my website, you've been following me, you know I participate in Quilt Blog Mania, which is a group of quilt designers. And every month, everyone designs a block around a specific theme. So sometimes I'm a little bit creative with the theme. Uh, I have been choosing all traditional quilting blocks and then making little variations on those. And so uh, this month for June, the theme is mountains. And luckily for me, there is a quilt block, Delectable Mountains. So I did this fun variation and it has hand embroidery just to represent someone walking through the mountains. So the name of this block is Take a Hike and this will be available starting on Tuesday, Tuesday, June 4th uh, for free on my website. It'll be free during the month of June. After that, it will be in my shop. So this is a really um, fun and easy block to do. So you can look for that. And then I've also been working on some samples for some classes that I have coming up, some video classes. So the first one is more playing around with reversible patchwork. So this is the uh, Pojagi seam. It's the same seam that I use in stained glass window hangings, but I'm playing around with doing non-window hanging things. So this is a bunch of different placemats that I've made. I've been playing around with designs. So we can see they're all basically a log cabin, but you can see it's reversible. It's only one layer of fabric. 
They're basically log cabin designs, but they're different layouts. And so it's just been fun to play around with them. They're all different sizes. They're all just made with scraps. And so if this looks like a fun project, then be sure to sign up for my email list and then you can find out when you can take this um, video workshop for free because that is going to be coming up in the summer. So those I've been working on and then I've been working on another workshop for window hanging and this is friendship star window hanging. So I have a bunch of little friendship stars here that I've been doing and these are the ones that when they're in a window they will look like stained glass and so I'm working on a variation this is a small one and there's going to be a variation that is a larger one that has more friendship stars in it so this is turning out really nicely I'm happy about that so again if you're interested in this in this workshop um, sign up for my um, email newsletter because then you'll get all the details for when you can access this for free because it is going to be free for a limited time so you'll want to catch that and then I do have some things that I have been working on that are in progress so this is something I've been talking about for a while but this is also reversible patchwork but it is going to be a skirt and so this is made with linen fabric and you see it has these little patches on it so this one is pretty fun um, I don't really know how to describe the style of it it is kind of patchy and almost like pioneer style so this one is going to be fun but I'm also planning on doing one with the same technique but one that is more elegant kind of design so you can see how it looks totally different based on the design and the fabrics that are used so hopefully fingers crossed I'll get both of these done in time to be able to wear them at Quilt Canada but we will see um, if I can get that much sewing done but with the amount of sewing I've been doing I have made a big progress in this quilt you may have seen this this is my bonus quilt that I have working on and it's just um, squares that I'm putting together and I started with the little two and a half inch squares and I joined those into four patches and then I joined those into bigger four patches so now I'm joining these into pairs and so now it's going to start to go together pretty quickly um, and it's just scrappy and this is just a project that I use in between my other seams anytime I'm going to end a thread I'll just end the thread on one of these and so you can see my full video about how I do this uh, but this is really starting to come together quickly now and I'm excited it's just so bright and cheerful with all this yellow and orange so as you can see I'm pretty busy getting ready for a lot of events in the summer but I'm really looking forward to it um, it's going to be great and hopefully we can meet up at something if you're going to be at Quilt Canada then um, for sure uh, look for me send me a message I would love to meet up and I have a number of online events coming up and it would be great to see you there as well so uh, whether or not you um, stay inside in the air conditioning and do lots of sewing in the summer or if you kind of take a break from sewing and do other things like gardening or things like that um, whatever you do, I hope that you have a great summer and that we stay in touch.